what's up guys Kevin here great seeing you again I'm uh, going to uh, my buddy Sander he's picking me up right now so I am not sure where to go but um, well for now uh, we're going to do a nice tutorial video how to make a cinematograph yes really nice if you don't know what it is well I show you in a minute Not sure where to go. We have to go here. Okay, I'm looking for the parking spot. I think it's here. Okay, this by the way, this is the first time doing it in English. I hope you like it. Um, I hope I like it too because I think I think it's nice to do it in English. More people can like and can watch it. And for me, it's a nice uh, practice. So, oh, I think. Oh, it is. Yeah, here. Okay. There he is. What's up? Good morning, What's up? Albert. Who's this? <laughs> Okay, we're in the car. So I'm here with my buddy Sander and today we're going to look like uh, how to do a cinemagraph. And what's a cinemagraph? A cinemagraph is like a combination of photo and video. What you want to create is like an image that looks like an image but then there's like small parts that are moving. Really nice, great effect and uh, yeah, quite easy to, to create. <laughs> This is my story boy. Yeah, here already talks about the Insta post. <laughs> uh, what we're going to do is uh, doing the cinemagraph. And I think we have like uh, three or four ideas. So I'm uh, just going to try it out and we'll see if we uh, succeed. But we're going to show you uh, what you have to do, what the preps are, and then how you're going to uh, do the shoot. And then afterwards, what you have to do on your computer. Okay, let's start with the concept. You have to have an idea. So my idea was to shoot a train that's passing by and that's the moving part of the image. So as you can see here, we just frame the shot and there's our train, a nice one. And then we have to take a picture. The second one is the frame that you want to freeze. So um, um, like that, and then you get this idea. It's, um, it's totally not realistic, but that's the whole idea. You can see it's a mix of photo and video. It's really nice. Time for coffee. Okay, then it's time to get behind your computer. Uh, let's open Photoshop. It's only a new Photoshop that's possible to show this timeline. Timeline is uh, possible to activate or deactivate. You have to activate it and then you can drag, um, drag and drop your video in it. And then you get this. Now I'm uh, just cropping the, uh, yeah, the right uh, part of my video. The idea is that the uh, water is nicely moving continually, it's like a loop and on the bridge there are people uh, passing by. The only part you want to show uh, from the uh, video, so that's the water. And we'll select this for you guys and make it red. So this is just a layer to visualize the idea. So now I have uh, like a layer red. Um, that's only showing the part that is selected, that's the water. And that's the only part I want to show of this video. Okay, next then we get the picture. Um, I got two pictures. This is the first one. This is a nice image of two people, um, uh, two guys passing, uh, two guys crossing the bridge. You can see the motion blur. So what I do now is, uh, yeah, I will we'll make the adjustments and I will select the red part because that's the part I don't want to show from this picture. I will mask that out and then um, the opacity and there it is okay so there are the guys and you can see the red and this is the red from the layer below so you can see that this cut out otherwise you will see the water of the photo and now it's red and if I yeah, you can see it now uh, the effect this will be the effect really nice okay it's quite short so I have to adjust the length and this is the ID and yeah I have to make this 
a bit shorter. And then uh, I want, besides those two guys, uh, other people on the bridge. The next second picture has two guys on top of the bridge, also with motion blur, really nice. And let's adjust the size, opacity of 200, and then I only want to show this part, so it's like yeah, the same idea. Uh, and there they are, so four people walking on the bridge, I have to adjust the length of them all, and I can even, well that one I can even, okay, this is the idea, okay I have to delete that one because it's not necessary anymore okay it's needed so there's the uh, the image so this is uh, like the idea and that's the part that will continually loop okay the next thing you have to do is to uh, save it that's a very important deal because you have to save it and not save as but you have to go to export and then you have to save for web and the reason why is because you want to save it as a gif so it will continually loop um, and you can do it over here, so you have to select GIF. Yes, okay. You have to select GIF and then you get a preview of what it will be. And there you have it guys, a nice cinemagraph. I hope you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe and uh, I will see you in the next one.